Oh my gosh, I am not winning, Jamie. I just realized it's like literally the night right before it. There's no way I'm getting in. This one's what a, bowl, a right? shame. The manor, yeah. Oh yeah, because I keep stealing the manor from you. No, but my bolt was okay before. It's just now I, I really dumbed it down. Or I, really, I lost a lot of it. Okay. After searching the hot in manor, you come across an enchanted doll that promises to grant all your wishes. Cool. You take it, it possesses you, of course. It turns out the spirit that was inside... It, wait, there was... It turns out that the spirit that was inside, it is exactly like you in every way. So nobody notices the difference. The only difference is that the spirit is a little bit bolder than you. So you basically gain two boldness. Ah, uh, hello, Dahlia. I would have sure. never guessed. I know. I know. Dahlia? What? Uh, can Damien at least make a guest appearance? Come on. You slip away to meet Dahlia, who told you to meet there, to meet her in the haunted house later for extremely important business. There you are, high five Freddy. Excellent. All is going as I planned. You see, according to my detailed battle strategy, Dahlia pulls out a notebook covered in puffy dolphin stickers and labeled best summer ever notebook, top secret. One of the key components to the best summer ever is sharing a summer kiss in a haunted house. Oh, please Dahlia, no. Dahlia, I beg. I just like, beg. I <laughs> so pucker up, high five Freddy. I'm about to declare a mouth war on your face. Godspeed, my friend. Right? Godspeed. You lean in for, you lean in for the kiss. <gasps> Whoa! Hi. What the fuck? Yes. What? <laughs> boo! Woof woof woof! Scott, you're supposed to be say boo too. That's how you scare people. But I'm not a ghost. I'm a werewolf. It's wrong to steal from other cultures. Excuse me, what? Was I supposed to be startled just now? The one only thing that startles me is thinking about how much I love. Otters. They are catastrophically adorable. It was supposed to be a prank, but it looks like we failed. Oh well, back to the drawing board, which we hit people over the heads with when we can't think of any better prank. Ah, your prank failed. Unfortunate. Being hilariously asleep pranked is another key ingredient of the best summer ever. Wait, did you say you were trying to have the best summer ever? It was literally the last thing I said, yes. So then, you've already written a heartfelt poem about how great Scott and I are? Because, you know, that's the number one ingredient for the best summer ever. And stuff. Oh, they're baking another prank. I was unaware of this. Tell me more. Well, it's gotta be a Shakespearean sonnet full of... Frank fashions of deep feelings and also allusions for both modern and classical literature. Polly lays down some ground rules and Dahlia gets to work with a look of intense concentration on her face. Soon, she's almost finished, but there's a problem. A sonnet is supposed to end in a rhyming couplet and I can't think of one that sums up everything I love about Polly and Scott. Ooh, ooh, just say pizza. Everyone loves pizza. As usual, Scott's suggestion is almost <laughs> optimally unhelpful. It looks like it's up to you to wow everyone with your incredibly, with uh, incredible poetry skills. So it is with Scott. Oh, it blurred. Uh, and <laughs> it is also with Scott and also Polly slash two people. Um, two people I would rescue from a trolley. Um, and so it is with Polly and Scott. They're really, 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 really hot. <laughs> Which one could it be? I'm gonna guess. Good uh, luck. Uh, yeah, good luck. Oh man. Oh man. I... Oh man. Okay, oh. so trolley sounds like boldness, oh. and you're pretty low on it. And, and the other one kind of sounds like charm. Charm, which isn't I. It's higher than my bold, so if I picked bold, it'd still fail, even though it's high. I I don't know. Who knows? I'm just gonna take this and hope for the best. Hey, oh, you did it. That one's bold. Question mark. 
I guess Fresh it was to just say really, kid? really, yeah. Hey, wow, let's not question exactly... the game. Yeah. Wow, that's exactly what I wanted to write. But I couldn't make it fit in the meter. In the meter. It turns out I was just not using enough rallies. Dahlia finished his writing her sonnet in a sheet of perfumed pink paper from her best summer ever notebook and nervously hands it to Polly and Scott. Polly reads it thoughtfully, and Scott refrains from chewing on it for almost one minute. Wow. They're both really captivated. Well... What do you- oh, sorry, I skipped it. <laughs> what do you think? I love it, Dahlia. You... you do? Of course I do. You rhyme blood with blood a couple times, and sure, lines five and six are just a drawing of a shark with friendship written on it. But overall, the juxtaposition of violent imagery with the pathos of a felt, deeply felt friendship creates a heady emotional cocktail. And you know how I feel about cocktails. Wink. And let's not forget about lines seven and eight. When Polly and Scott I hang out at camp, I don't think much about my lust for blood. Is that a reference from the Iliad? It's so fresh, yet resounds with ancient things. No, I've just always heard that you should write what's on your heart, and my heart is mostly full of blood, so that's what I wrote about. Well, I love it, Dahlia. It's just so pure, never change. Cow paper smells. Good criticism. Good criticism, Scott. But we've saved the best for last. Your closing couplet. Now, I've ne I've been called hot before. I've been called hot by Teen Spectre magazine. I've been called hot by Tim Burton. Which doesn't count, because he has a fetish. I've been caught by the hot Pope. By the Pope. What? Wow. I've been called hot. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, by the hot Pope. <laughs> I've been called a hot Pope. Checked. <laughs> I've been caught hot by the Pope. Honestly, that is something <laughs> but, Polly would do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but never in my life have I been called hot in an... I am big... I am... I am... Iambic pentameter. Wait, one more time? Iambic pentameter. Iambic pentameter. Yep. This has been the most successful prank on in Prank Master's history. Wait, this was a prank? I thought we were sincerely encouraging our friends to explore their artistic souls. Did I say prank? I meant selfless display of creative altruism. Hooray! Selfless display of creative altruism masters away! Scott and Polly fly through the ceiling on a rope they apparently placed here for this purpose and escape on a helicopter. They leave Scott's shaped holes on the ceiling and both in your hearts. You gain two fun and one creativity. Oh, yeah, I think me. I'm gonna name Damien. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's raise that uh, 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 creativity. How cute. That day, you happened to take the. Si oh. That day, you happened to take the same Monster Scouts class as Mamimi the Onig girl. You didn't get good sleep last night. <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> So you ask her if she has any of that weird energy drink she let you have once during high school. She doesn't, but she does have some very strange smelling coffee that could help. Where does this girl even find these weird ass drinks? <laughs> the coffee is delicious, but it comes with side effects. You get an acquired fear of caterpillars and you grow plus two creativity in your hair. Hair? I mean, it's fire, so it's kind of creative. Yeah, 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 sure. There's nothing you like more than being helpful, provided it is in turn helping you find your summer honey. So it's no surprise you find yourself aiding Dahlia in the collection of another scout badge. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why? Alright, Cooler Josh! Hold the megaphone right there, so I can scream into it and still have my hands free for powerful gestures. Let me know if you have any tips for being louder. I really want this badge. Deep breath and... No. <clears throat> 
Since the 1950s, around 8.3 billion tons of plastic has been produced worldwide and only 9% are recycled. Plastic kills millions of birds and animals a year, while poor air quality is a huge contrib contributor to human fatalities. By the year 2050, the amount of plastic in the ocean will outweigh the total number of fish. Oh my god, yes. cat! <laughs> Bitch. I see. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's good. <laughs> Continue. Miss Aquino, why are you interrupting this lovely day at Camp Spooky with your incessant screaming this time? Oh, Camp Director missed weaving. I was absolutely engaged in the camp sanctioned pursuit of scout badges. See, I'm trying to get the badge for noise pollution. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm screaming facts about pollution as loudly as I can. Dang, she noise got it. <laughs> Miss Aquin, the noise itself is the pollution, and you you don't need to be making noise about pollution. All you su you've succeeded in doing now is distracting and depressing the camp population. When they should be doing fun things like manual labor. Camp director Miss Weaving, I am so sorry. I didn't read the last part. <laughs> As a strong female leader who is intimidating and scary, you're a role model of mine. Well, Miss Aquino, I do respect your respect for me, which is why I'm going to confiscate the thing you crave most. My approval. No, please, take my phone, take my face, take anything. Just don't take your approval. Too late. It's been confiscated. Uh, you may have it back when you've earned it. Oh no. What will I do? I can't bear to be at Camp Spooky if I can't have the respect of a terrifying female authority figure. Johnny leaves summer camp. She leaves behind her possibility to be your summer honey. Luckily, you know the best way to gain Weaving's approval. Are they saying she's Asian? <laughs> hey, don't don't associate her with uh. Wait, no, she thought her her uh, costume is Japanese inspired. Well, there we go. Unless it's only like that because of the DLC thing. I think I... it's the DLC thing. <laughs> no, I Un don't think it is. Unless it's the unless the I bear think, is the I DLC. Think only the yeah, the bear's DLC. I think only the. Uh main love interest get DLC skins. Oh, I see, I see. Um... Uh... Doctor seems like the smart route. It does. And show off your this admiration developing spider-like skills. Spider oh, yeah, skills with your butt. That might be creativity. I'm thinking creativity. I'm gonna risk it, I guess. For creativity. Show your admiration by developing some spider-like silks in a sweater with your butt. Hey. Good job. Oh! The only monster I know with a more powerful booty than mine is Polly. <laughs> she threw that ass in a circle until she reached glute heaven. Do you be my assistant, Cooler Josh? Just take the yarn and needles and put them between my muscular buttocks. Well, hey, there we go. This character got with Polly last time. Ow. <laughs> not, that hurt. You do. It's kind of weird, but kind of erotic. Erotic in that you're close to touching Dahlia's butt. Weird in that it's because you're helping her knit with it. Camp Director Miss Weaving, check this out. I'm concerned to say the least, Miss Aquino. But soon all our concerns are Aswaged, assuaged, assage, assuaged, assaged, assuaged, assuaged sounds right. Assuaged as Dahlia begins to ass knit with all the power and grace of Olympic figure skater Yuzuru Hanyu. Dahlia grabs you to steady herself as she picks up speed. And once again, you're into it because Dahlia's touching you while doing butt stuff. But yeah, it's still weird. Finally, Dahlia finishes Enhanced Camp Director Miss Weaving, a stunning sweater emblazoned with the words, Forgive me, Senpai. <sighs> I don't... 
please, Camp Director Miss Weaving, give me back your approval. I've been so lost without it my whole life ever since you confiscated it ten minutes ago. I promise to never misinterpret that one specific instruction ever again. The next time I mess up, it'll be something completely different. Miss Okuno, I must confess, I am floored by the beautiful work you have done here today. And by this finely crafted apparel. You should be very proud of what you've made today. I know I am. You mean you're giving me approval back? You've earned it. I look forward to your inevitable next screw up. Perhaps then I'll get a tea cozy. Yes, Cooler Josh. We did it. Who can I ever thank you? Oh, I know. Come close to me. Closer? And put those needles back in my butt so I can knit you a sweater too. Oh, God. <laughs> She oh does. god. And it's the best button knit sweater you've ever owned. It even has a heart on it, which you definitely plan on reading too much into. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. I wonder I'm who I'll get. Turn my scarf into a noose. You're still dumb. I am dumb. But I'm fine with that. Okay. Because Shinny's dumb too. <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Do you personally <laughs> attack her like that? Because well, you have the same stat for yeah. smarts. That's why. Um. Let's see. I'm pretty bold and I'm pretty charming. My creativity is pretty low, but so is my smarts. Though I don't think I need it. What's left on the table? Charm, fun. Charm, smarts, and food. And smartness. I wonder. You know what? Fuck okay. it. Let's keep going, charm. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be very charming. <laughs> hey, I need to be charming enough if I wanna get with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Dahlia. <laughs> it's definitely Dahlia. Oh god. That day at the Camp Dome, you played Never Have I Ever Extreme. Every time someone mentions something you've done, you have to cut a finger off. But besides the finger part... Can I even cut off my fingers? No. Hey, that would be like... You'd phase through the finger and or something. It's not really extreme for me then. I don't know how's a ghost get a how do you, how does a, the embodiment of fear get scared by ghosts? How, how do how do you go me, underwater? Me go underwater, you right. But besides the finger part, this is finally a great time to brag about all the cool illegal things you have done. You're the first out, and while they're sewing their digits back on, you get to regale your friends with stories on how you robbed a bank while wearing your grandfather's skull as a hat. You're so cool! Also, they sue you plus two charm to your left, and by mistake. D Dahlia? I would have never guessed! She what? invited you back no. to your tent for a bit of light Mexican professional wrestling. Ah, nothing like a bit of lucha libre to put some hair on your chest and then a couple of full body wax to remove said hair. Are you ready, punk? The next two hours are agonizingly painful bliss. Dahlia totally kicks your ass, of course. But afterwards, you watch Studio Ghibli movies and shares a romantic ice bath. Aww. Thanks for... I, I thought she wasn't interested in romance. Well, well, she's not interested in romance with a rival. Ah, yes. Thank you for hanging out with me today, Uncle Burning Love. I had a great time. I really... I'm really glad that you came to summer camp too. God damn it, I don't want you. 
So are you so are you. Maybe you could even keep this party going? You asked Dahlia what plan she has after camp. Well, I mean Summer break has been nice, but I can't vacation from reality forever. I need to get back to being the commander of my army. I mean the being the commander my army needs me to be. Our work is never done. There are countless kingdoms left to conquer, and hell's strongest and sexiest warlord. It is my destiny to conquer them all. Hmm, well, if Dolly is so into conquering stuff, maybe she could try conquering the most difficult kingdom of all. Oh, you mean Ikea? <laughs> <laughs> I tried that, but that place is a lab labyrinth, labyrinth pit of Swedish labyrinth. furniture madness. My army's barely escaped with their sanity intact. What? No, she shouldn't try conquering. She should try conquering your heart. Oh, so you're flirting with me? That makes much more sense. Well, I must admit, I never considered conquering your heart before. I do like you quite a bit, though. So, maybe. No, wait. I'm supposed to be a hardened commander. I can't let my feelings interfere with my work. This is real life, not Dunder Mi Mi Mifflin. Oh, fine. I have lots of kingdoms on my to conquer list. If I'm going to use important military resources to de demon and demon power to conquer your heart instead, I need a good reason why. Damn. This got real. This uh, got real fast. But you really that. want to impress Dahlia. How can you convince her that conquering your heart is way more valuable than conquering any other kingdom? Doctors, a history book. Doctor, a history book. So it says that all the great commanders of history have tried and failed at conquering your heart. That sounds like smarts. Explain that your heart has strategic value and further conquer other important territories, such as your kidneys and your lungs. Wait. Which one? Both sound smarts. Fuck. Wait, may maybe the top one's creative then? Question mark? May no, I think the bottom might sound creative. I don't know. Such as your kidneys conquer important. I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. Doctor, a history uh, book, so it says all great commanders of history have tried and failed to conquer your heart. That definitely feels like smart. And explain. The one's really literal, which you know. Which may be boldness. Hmm. Well, uh. Godspeed, myself. Godspeed. <laughs> oh really? Hmm, I guess that th I didn't think of that. To be honest, while I mastered most things, conquer ship, monster scout badge, badge earning, and love making to name a few, I'm not necessarily the best strategist. Sure, yeah. I'm more of a go getter than a planner. Luckily, that's why I have war advisors for. I'll just text one of them and now and ask for a strategic analysis on your heart to determine its value and potential con conquest. Oh, he just texted bad. Let's see. General Aquino appears to me that Hunko burning love is grossly overselling the value of his heart, and I would not advise you to conquer it at this time. It may appear to be strategic a strategic stronghold on the surface, but given Hunko burning loves afflictions with highly high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and a regular heartbeat, heartworms, heart beetles, curly straw-shaped veins, icky blood disease, and an unpleasant odor. It is my professional opinion that seizures of Hoko Burning Love's heart would be inadvisable. In fact, it might actually cause him to have a fatal seizure. Well, there you have it, Hoko Burning Love. Thanks for the offer, but I'm gonna have to pass this time. I'll see you around. She leaves. Great, not only did you miss a shot with Dahlia, but 
Now you're extremely stressed out about your health. What the fuck does curly shroud shaped veins even mean? You lose two fun and one charm. Moment of faith.